couple of YouTubes. Um, second attempt at a recording here because I had an epic mega Code Zero computer crash earlier. It's Tony here. I'm joined by Matt. Hi. And we're going to play around with some new... Well, at not not really anything new with the game, just some new ideas on things to do while playing the game. I'm going to start out just running some calls, but we'll try to create some fun scenarios for us in between. And we'll see if we can't get James to jump in here and play with us. And that's all I got. Pull over now! You have been warned! Matt, what all did you crash into just now? I just hopped the little fence thing to catch up with you. But not even fence, a little cement barricade. <laughs> 128 traffic. Go ahead. Show me out North Huntington Street with a silver faction occupied one time. Vehicles reported to be involved in a crime. I have 122 with me. Yeah, happy. Alright, I'm not even going to mess around with this person. They're involved in a crime. I'm just asking them to get out of okay, the car. Get out. Let me see your hands on the roof. Oh, it's an old lady. Well, it's a younger lady. I have one at gunpoint. Oh, damn it. Hey, Lucy. Fuck, I can't aim at her. For some reason. Is it fixating on me? Alright, there we go. 128 has 11015. Copy. Channel 1 broadcasting emergency traffic. We have reports of a hostage situation ongoing at the Cluck and Bell on North Huntington Street. Cluck and Bell. Okay, go ahead. I don't know what to do. Let's block street access to this Cluck and Bell restaurant. Alright, I'll I'll go up to the top of the street if you want to block street access down here. Where's the Cluck and Bell? It's the Taco Bell looking restaurant right behind you. I don't see it, but I'm gonna go ahead and block it. Alright, use your trainer to spawn barricades to block the street. Oh, oh I my almost got hit. Okay, so I wanna go to Object spawning. And that should be CJ Barrier 2, I think is the police one. Alright, I'm on my TV so I don't see everything. Um, first page, second page, third page? Uh, it's right on the very first page. Yeah. And then just put barriers. It's kind of hard to get them placed where you want them. But put them just I'd enough say. of them to block the street. That's why mine looked so random last time. I don't know where they're spawning. They spawn out ahead of you, by quite a ways. One twenty-eight. Go ahead. Can we have a negotiator <laughs> roll out to North Huntington, cross of Dukes, for the situation at the fucking Bell? We have the area secure. Copy. Um. Hang on, I'm really having a hard time with this. Dispatch a unit from Cerveza Heights. I think I figured it out. The barriers, you mean? Yeah. Alright, this is where you and I kind of have to uh, just make shit up as we go. <laughs> as we're both playing dispatcher for each other. Alright, give me one more second. Okay. Alright, uh, that's gotta be good enough. I don't even freaking know. Okay, what do you need me to do? Um. We just kind of have to, for the purposes of making this work, 
kind of have to just make things up as we go along. All right, uh -huh. channel, channel 1 broadcasting for officer safety. Please stay clear of all windows and doors to the fucking bell. Copy. All right. Negotiator will be rolling up on scene right now. Up here. 122, are you able to call the Cluck and Bell and see if we can get in touch with the suspect? Uh, copy. I will go ahead and give that a try. <laughs> Alright, 122 to 128 direct. Go ahead. I have Cluck and Bell on the phone. Okay, uh, just keep him keep him talking, um, ask him questions, see if see if we can work anything out until our negotiator gets here. Copy. Hello. Am I supposed to respond to your typing? Okay. Yeah, my typing is our guy on the other end of the line. Oh, so I'm supposed to talk. Okay. Hi, what's your name? <laughs> I, okay, Ron. So, what what can we do for you? Damn it. Oh. <laughs> Alright, Ron. You don't need to kill those three people. Let us know what we can do for you so you don't have to do that. That the cars behind us disappeared. All right, um, we have uh, SWAT on route. Happy. All right. Well, Ron, I I can't leave right now. Um, I I let's let's talk it through. Let's we can negotiate something. Like you want something? What do you want? Let let me give it to you. <laughs> that sounds dirty. Okay, Ron, you know, I, I, we can get you a car here. That's not a problem. Uh, I just need you to let the three go that you have there. You let those three go, and we get you a car. Dispatch a unit from Cerveza Heights. Okay, I got eyes on shit here. Eyes on shit here. Did we have another vehicle roll up? Yes. Okay, that's our SWAT right there. Copy. Hi right, Ron, let's let's make a deal. I get you let two people go. Two of the three, and I'll get you a car out here. We'll discuss the third person before I give you keys. Ron, I, I, I can't get you a chopper. We are under a bridge. Getting you a chopper is impossible. Channel 1 broadcasting for officer safety. Be advised SWAT has a sniper trained on suspect at this time. Copy. Forgive my typos, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I will out. Okay, Ron, let the first person go and we'll continue talking. 128 to 122 direct. Go ahead. I'm going to be getting up close to the door to escort the first person out of the building. It Copy. has a multi-door entrance, so I'm going to go in the first door and 
Just keep watch my back. Copy. Alright, 128, I'm inside. I have our first person. Copy. Alright. I'm escorting her out now. Alright, the suspect is a white male. He's not wearing a shirt. He's, um, maybe six foot bald. And I believe he's a 1055. I think he's under the influence. Copy. Uh, do we have anything on this female that has walked up? Negative. Uh, just throw her away. She can't be there. Okay, there she goes. Alright, it looks like, um, looks like based on the circumstances, we might want to have, uh, medical on scene. Copy. I'll go ahead and roll EMS. Alright, if they won't dispatch, just go ahead and spawn an ambulance. <laughs> Come on. Hey Ron, you gotta wait a sec, dude. We gotta we gotta be able to get an off or get a car here. Uh one twenty two and on something. Copy, I'm gonna uh give medical attention to this witness. Copy. Uh one twenty two to one twenty eight direct. Go ahead. We want to get a car here for this individual. What do we want to do? Uh, let's go ahead and get a car here. Um, I'll, I'll order us a car with an automatic shutoff. Copy. Who's this, right, who's this individual we have walking in front of Cluck and Bell here? Not a clue, but I'll get rid of her. Doesn't appear to be with the, with the end of or the situation. Get her butt moving. Um, you need to move. Keep going. Oh, she. All right, 128 to 122. Are you still on the phone with Ron? Uh, yeah, Ron is still waiting for his vehicle. Did All we right. did we get that vehicle with automatic shut off? It's pulling up to the front door of the of the Cluck and Bell right now. Copy. All right, Ron, you still there? Alright, we got a silver two-door vehicle for you up front. Are you going to let the other two go? Oh, except for their next vehicle. <laughs> Alright, Ron, just kidding. Just kidding. There will be a vehicle for you in just a second. Hi. What are you going to do with the other one? Okay, 122 to 128 direct. 128. Can we get a four-door vehicle? Yeah, give me a second. Um, they're on their way. Copy. Ron, what are, you, what are you gonna do? What are your plans with the other individual that you're taking with you? Units from Heights. for what? What do you want? God damn it! Where do you where do you plan on going? Like, what what is your plan? Talk me through it. Make me understand. Okay, we'll get you a car. I'm still just curious. Like, I mean need money, is that why you're there? Are you taking people for something? Is this one individual that you're refusing to let go somebody of importance? Like, maybe it's my ignorance, but explain to me what's going on. 128, dispatch. 
Go ahead. Do we have um, any information on the original call as to <laughs> how the situation started? Uh, no information. Uh, just reports of a guy holding individuals hostage at the clock and bell. Um, Copy. Um, 128 to 122. Can we try, if we can, to get a last name off of this individual? <laughs> Copy. We'll give it a go. Ron, you still there? Okay, it looks like we got a car out front for you this time. Before I give you keys and turn it over, though, is there any way, any way you can tell me who you are? Because that would work. No, you told me Ron. What's your, what's your last name? I mean, who are, who is Ron? Um, maybe ask him if, if he has <laughs> has an address or or <laughs> I don't know just friends family anything that maybe we can pull off of him Ron are your parents still alive no people care people always care it's just hard to see sometimes. So, tell me, are are your parents still around? Do they live in the area? Wonderful. Okay, so, so, could we give them a call? Maybe. I mean, would you want to see them? Talk to them? Keep him, keep him going with this conversation. Why, why do you, why do you think they don't like you? I mean, you're their, their son. They, I mean, unconditional love, right? Why did they leave you? I don't really think you're a failure. I mean, you're doing something now that is pretty adamant and forefront. I mean, failures don't stick to something, and you're sticking to this. Don't think you're a failure. Why, why do you think that you failed them? I don't, I don't blame you. Liberty City has its ghetto sides. Did you ever think that they didn't make you grow up? Here, yeah, maybe that was the only place they could afford or the only place that had job opportunities for them. Maybe they gave you the best that they could. Maybe their best wasn't good enough, but it was the best they could do. Channel 1 Broadcasting, we have three cross-references between a Ron and Broker Dukes community if we can get any more narrowed down we can identify this individual copy <laughs> Ron tell me more about your family um channel one broadcasting we have reports of shots fired inside the cluck and bell can you find out if we still have all of our hostages copy Ron what's going on in there Okay. Is everybody okay in there? Are you okay? Are the other two okay? Channel 1 to 122, do we need to um, issue fire on suspects? Not at the moment. Let me, let me talk to him another minute, see what he's got going on in there. Uh, he says everything's going on in there. Um, Ron, are the other two still okay? You haven't shot at them, right? Cool. Thanks, Ron. Uh, 122 to 128, direct. 128. Do we have SWAT? Any eyes on this individual? 
We have one sniper posted on an adjacent rooftop who has an eye on the kitchen area of the Cluck and Bell. Copy. Stand by. Copy. We're going to bring that sniper into channel. Copy. The SWAT reports that they have no eyes on suspect. They have an eye on one of the hostages who is okay <laughs> at this time. Copy. All right, I'm going to try and talk Ron out. All right, do we want to just let him get into the car and um, if we can get an undercover, follow him? Copy. Ron, how's it going in there? What's pissing you off, man? Your car's out front. You wanna come get it? Leave the, let, you gotta let one go, though. You gotta let one go and leave the other one. I mean, you already said you're taking it with you, but... All right, Channel 1 Broadcasting, uh, SWAT reports that one of our hostages is being escorted out of the building. Copy. One twenty two just spawned an undercover taxi. Copy. Thanks, Ron. Your your vehicle's out front waiting for you. Alright, one twenty eight is going to relinquish vehicle and let the driver take it. Copy. Alright, driver is armed. Whoa! Alright, driver's making a pretty dang good go for it. Uh, 122 is behind suspect. All right, I'm I'm staying a distance from the vehicle. Copy. Um, this vehicle has automatic shut off. Uh, yes. Copy. Okay. Do we want to go ahead and pull the individual out now? It looks like he's stuck. I got him pinned in. All right. I've got one tire, two tires. Oh my God. You need to move, okay? I'll go ahead and pull suspect out. All right, go ahead. Oh, shit. I'm gonna try and pull suspect out. Here we go. One at gunpoint. Get back on the back seat. Get out. All right. It keeps going to the back seat. How do I get this vehicle out of the I'll, vehicle? I'll order out. Now we got you. Get out of there. All right. She's refusing to comply. All right, give a non-lethal shot. Give a non-lethal shot. Brian. I didn't stop her. Yeah, I'm getting back in my vehicle. I'm gonna have, in case I have to follow. Oh, she might, she's still. All right, I'm taking cover. She's tried to run me down like three times now. Use lethal force, get her down. Be advised, she is armed with a semi-automatic weapon. Is she in the vehicle still? Alright, she's down, she's down, she's in the vehicle, she's down. Roll EMS. EMS is still on scene. Okay. Um. Okay. Alright, if we can get her out of the vehicle. Is there any chance? Probably not. No, vehicle's rolled over onto the ambulance. Alright. 128, we're code for, um... 122 and 128 are going to check inside Cluck and Bell for any injuries. Copy. Alright, I have one female. This is our final, the last hostage. She's up against the wall. Ma'am. Ma'am, it's all over now. Alright, Cluck and Bell is clear. All right, Jesus Christ, what a mess. <laughs> okay, well, there it is. Um, All right, we're code four. Copy. EMS is on scene. Ha! Look at the ambulance on the fucking barricades. <laughs> Channel one broadcasting. We have reports of a bomb threat at the Perseus shopping outlet cross of Bismarck Avenue and Pyrite Street. <laughs> Any available units, please respond code 3. Copy, 122 is on its way. 
<laughs> Block all street access. Uh, I what street was it again? Uh, corner of Pyrite and Bismarck. It's this Perseus shopping outlet right here. I'm gonna put out some barriers so that cars can't drive through. Wow! Stupid car. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna let that car through. Alright. I'm gonna put some barriers in the street here. Uh, what? Well, I'm trying to find barriers. Where is it? You, sir, are a douche. How did you do that? I went into object spawning, and then barriers number two is the barriers that we're looking for. Channel 1 broadcasting for officer safety. Maintain a distance of at least 100 yards from Perseus. Um, bomb is possibly a car bomb. Copy. Do you have a description of the vehicle? A negative as of yet. Um, be advised, look for any parked vehicles in the vicinity. <laughs> um, this truck over here, was that up when we put the barricades, or is... Uh, I'm not sure. What are you waiting for, Crystal? Channel 1 Broadcasting, vehicle description is a silver four-door sedan. Uh, last seen in the location of the Perseus store, outlet store. Got it. I've got two silver sedans right here. Um, keep a distance from them. Got it. Um, do we have a suspect description? Channel 1 has no suspect description at this time. Uh, be on lookout for any suspects using a cell phone. Bomb is reported to be a cell phone activated device. Happy. Oh, what's this vehicle doing? What's this vehicle doing? He's getting out. He's oh. getting out. He's running from his car. I'm getting away from the car and arresting him. Copy. 122 will follow. Over there. Alright, I've got 11015. Copy. Expecting that vehicle. I'm not seeing anything vehicle that. Alright, I'm searching the vehicle. Suspicious. I'm searching the trunk. You're actually opening the trunk? Alright, I see a device under the vehicle with a cell phone attached to it. Get, get a distance from that vehicle. Copy. I'm questioning the suspect now. He has three cell phones in his pocket. Oh, the vehicle <laughs> just caught fire. Do you want to roll Yo, um, FDLC? Copy. FDLC is on its way. Copy. Um. Can we remove barricades for FDLC to get through? Whoa! Uh, whoa! You got a problem? Lowered it. What uh, we just had a yellow taxi explode over on the corner. Our suspect, um. It couldn't have been our suspect. I had all devices removed from him. 
Wow. Channel Rod and Broadcasting, we have reports of additional threats. Um, suspects claim there are at least three more bombs in the area. They're requesting a helicopter evac. Stand by for further. Chopper. Alright. Anyone in the area using a cellular device, hold and frisk that suspect. Copy. I will do a search round. Alright, I've got one. I have two empty cars and a taxi driver. Uh, doesn't appear to have any cell phone or any other cellular device with him. I have a person on a cell phone right here. Oh, that was your guy, original guy, just kidding. Alright, Channel 1 Broadcasting, we have reports of a suspicious vehicle. Um, blue, four-door sedan, possibly involved. Maintain a distance from that vehicle and give a description of driver. Copy. Oh, lord. I was just next to that vehicle and there was no driver in that vehicle. Whoa, uh -oh. explosions, explosions. We have reaction. Alright, evacuate the area. <laughs> There's too many vehicles over there, it's all gonna go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, oh! There's some more vehicles back there that haven't exploded yet. Alright, FDLC on scene. How did they get through the barricade? I'm not sure. Jesus. That appears to be the last vehicle within the area that could respond or that could react to other explosions. There's one more vehicle, but it appears to be far enough away to not not be affected. Alright, channel one update. We have a an armed individual inside the Perseus shop claiming to be responsible for the bombings requesting a helicopter extract do not approach or enter the station stay clear of all windows and evacuate area copy there's nobody in these cars is there uh there was one in the taxi earlier i don't see so or the individual anymore for the taxi back there anybody uh i have an individual in this vehicle back here Alright, just aim at him until he either drives away or walk, runs away. Copy. If need be, fire a shot into the air to scare them away. Oh, suspect is driving away. Get on. That's fired, uh, warning shots, uh, suspect is in, oh, he's getting out of the vehicle and running. Alright, channel one broadcasting for officer safety, um, we have communication with the suspect. Suspect claims that if the helicopter is not there within 10 minutes, they will trigger another bomb. Please stay clear of the Persia shop. Copy. Oh, fucking fire truck. Oh, it looks like the area has been evacuated. Kidding. I have more vehicles piling up over here. Individuals, vehicles. Try and evacuate them. 128 to 122 direct. Go ahead. Do you know how long this silver sedan has been parked across from Perseus? Uh, that looks like a newer vehicle. Um, all vehicles on this side should have been um, affected by that earlier explosive reaction. Alright, bomb squad is en route. Copy. Still trying to evacuate this area. I'm gonna do a warning shot. Alright, bomb squad's on scene. Um, keep distance from that silver vehicle while bomb squad investigates. Copy. Oh lord, I got vehicles busting through barricades. Code zero. Okay, officer down, officer down. 
what do it because of me, probably. What took you down? <laughs> Channel 1 Broadcasting, all units stand by for emergency traffic. Okay, go ahead. Or copy. Damn it. We have reports of a an armed individual at the Internet Cafe on Oneida Avenue. Nearest cross street would be Chive Street between Chive and Oneida. Copy. Uh, 122 is rolling code 3 to scene. 120 is responding code 3. Wait, you're going somewhere different? You're not already there? I'm not already there. Damn it. But this is not where I wanted to be. Ball sack. Channel 1 update. Uh, we have reports that this individual is not allowing patrons to leave. Copy. 128 is 1097, I'll be clearing the area. Copy. Okay, are, is 122 on, or 128 on scene? 128 is on scene. Oh, good, now I can do a waypoint. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna barricade the street. One twenty two is on scene. <laughs> oh, yeah, what's we're at the Fuck Cafe? Yep. Oh, you already got it all barricaded, okay. Alright. Do, do we know how many hosti hostages? Um, if you wanna just secure the area and remove any vehicles while we determine how many hostages are inside. Copy. Feel my baton? Alright, stand by while we get a read on here. Alright, looks like there is one hostage inside. <clears throat> Do you know why EMS is on scene? Uh, not a clue. I guess I assumed you had called them. Alright, I'm trying to get a better view with a sniper here. Alright, I can see one male and one female. The male matching the description of our suspect. Um, about five foot nine, dark brown hair, mustache, uh, mid to late forties. The hostage is an elderly female, about five six, five five to five six, white hair. Um, they're both standing. They're barricaded inside behind a wall. The rear exit has been bolted. Copy. Can we get that siren turned off? Now step out and away from the car. That'll work. Alright, all using your police helper, do you want to request... Like, there's a request services and then mechanic to get a replacement vehicle. Copy. Uh, uh, what are we requesting a new vehicle for? Um, request like a a piece a police stockade or something. That'll be our SWAT. And 128 requesting SWAT for 
uh, hostage situation at the internet cafe. Happy. Um. All right. Looks like SWAT's on scene. Where? Over here, but I. You have to get closer to them, otherwise they're not gonna get out of the vehicle. This is the pickup truck. Where? Right over here, on the other side of the barricades. Oh, there we are, okay. <coughs> Where do I want them to be? As far as we can tell, there's only one hostage. Um, we don't know much more beyond that. Sounds like other units are dispatching. And they are. And wow. And watch out! And whoa! Alright, I'm not sure what they dispatched for, but they're here. Don't be another vehicle. It just pulled up in front of yours. I see a guy standing in the street, like pavement up to his knees. <laughs> oh, they're just getting so in and out. That's where the car is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. So, do we have any information on what this, what this? Oh, shots fired. Where? What? Uh, shots fired. Hold on, we're gonna check on our. Alright, it appears as though the hostage is still fine. We still have our same suspect in there. So far as we can tell, there's nobody else in the vehicle or in the building. Do we know what the suspect wants, what his intentions are? We have not received any communication. All lines to the cafe are dead right now. Okay. You said uh, back door was bolted? Back door is bolted, yes. Is there any way to get in in the back door, unbolt it without the suspect knowledge? Uh, we'll have to get in contact with the chain right now. It's part of their alarm system. It automatically bolts the door. Copy. We want to try and go in and talk to the suspect. We have... Good, I could throw on some armor and go in there and try and talk to the individual, or do we not want to do that at this time? Um, we, aside from the fact that the suspect is armed, we have no other advisories yet. So if you want to try that, I can cover you. Copy. Go ahead and go I need to find on. a good bandage really quick. Oh, I don't have eyes on the suspect anymore. He must have moved. Hold on. All right, I have eyes on the suspect and the hostage. Happy. I have additional armor on. I'm gonna go ahead and. All right. Once inside, he is gonna be down the hall to the <clears throat> left. Uh, it should be the third row of computers down. And he has his hostage standing to the left of him. Alright, just... Ab uh, my textures are funky. Okay, I stopped. So what's, what's going on? Okay, so if it's not anyone's business, do you want to let that old woman go? If it's not anybody's business, why why are you holding her hostage? Because it's becoming her business then. 
How about you and I just sit down and talk this out? Why is she a bad person? Do you know her? Have a thing against old ladies? You mind if I come around and just get out of here right now? I'll shoot her. All right. I don't want you to shoot her, but I don't want to leave. Do you mind if I come around and just talk to face to face? I'll put my gun away. Gun's gone. You and I, face to face. Channel 1 Broadcasting for Officer Safety. We have a missing person reported from the Liberty City Mental Institute matching our suspect description. Um, suspect potentially mentally unstable and not on medication at this time. Copy. Okay. Um, so what, what's your name? No, I do. I, I like to address people by their names. It shows respect. So what's your name? Hi, Freddy. So, come on, just tell me what, what's going on. What's going on? Go ahead. We have reports that suspect identifies himself as Freddy. Can we check that against our Liberty City Metal? Copy. <laughs> uh, 122. Oh. 122, go ahead. Uh, the name Freddy matches the name Frederick of the individual that has escaped from the mental institution. Copy. What was his diagnosis? Uh, he shows a diagnosis of borderline personality disorder as well as a coexisting diagnosis of schizophrenia. Copy. It's a really shitty diagnosis. Police! Uh, uh, Freddy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my gun away and come up and talk to you face to face. That's fine, you don't have to like me. Alright, is 122, is he still armed? Oh, uh, I see no weapons. Copy. We <coughs> have... <clears throat> we have SWAT at the door ready to move in, just get a signal. Copy. Freddy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step a little bit closer. I just wanna talk to you a little bit here, okay? That's fine. That's fine. You and I, face to face. What do you think you're doing anyway? So, this old lady, I get that you don't like her. I get it. How about we let her go? We'll let the cops outside deal with her. Because, I mean, if you think she's a bad person, clearly she's got some issues too. Let's let her go out front. The police will take care of her, and you and I discuss it. That's fine if she hates you. There's people that hate everybody, there's people that hate me. You don't gotta like her, she don't gotta like you. We're gonna let the cops up front deal with her. <clears throat> 122. 122, go ahead. I got Freddy talking a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and kinda step closer to him so he takes step back. So hopefully the female will walk outside if we can get SWAT in as I'm stepping towards him. Copy, SWAT's moving in. Copy. Alright, Freddy. So we're gonna let her kinda I'm gonna step between you guys here. One twenty two SWAT is in the building. Copy. Oh hi Freddy. One a gunpoint. Right. Step back, sorry, my textures are off. I'm trying. Oh hi. You got one at gunpoint? 
Yep. I'm gonna bring my gun back out. Step behind him while he's doing his thing. No, Freddy the cops. The cops won't kill her. I mean, if anything, they're just gonna pull her aside and talk to her. Alright, I'm gonna try and take Freddy in. Weapon on the ground and step away. Yeah, I heard shots fired. Where were they from? Uh, we have no reports of shots fired. I heard something. Alright. What oh, a gunpoint, what a gunpoint. There's another male suspect in here. That's me. Please get on the ground and remain the old calm. dude? Old Behind dude. You? Behind you? Alright, I've got him on gunpoint. Okay. I got Freddy at gunpoint. Uh, he's not doing anything though. So he's complying with me. Oh, what the fuck. Alright, the other one is 1015. I'm gonna I'm going to escort our hostage out. Stand by. Whoa, she's armed, she's armed! Oh, code zero, code zero, we have the wrong suspect. <laughs> Jesus! That's why Freddy wasn't putting his hands up. <laughs> oh my god. I kept ordering Freddy to put his hands up and he wouldn't do shit. He kept just standing there and it was her the whole time. God damn it. God damn. I did not even realize that she was armed. Oh, uh, okay, so what is Freddy? What could have been a female name for Freddy? Um, I don't know. But then again, if she had multiple personalities disorder, or whatever you call it anymore. It would have been multiple personality disorder, which could have been a, a, a partial, like a, um, oh my god, a spectrum of schizophrenia. Ooh, you're good at this. Oh, well, that's what I get paid to do. What well, got paid to do? <laughs> Holy shit, I, oh, I could not believe, because I was going to arrest her and then I didn't have her follow me out to the car. Surprise! Yeah, she pulled out a fucking M4. Can you, okay, side note, can you imagine somebody with a diagnosis of borderline personality disorder and schizophrenia? Like, the only thing worse would be somebody with reactive attachment disorder and paranoid schizophrenia. Like, that would be the worst combination. Oh my god, no. That plus PTSD would be the worst combination ever. Like, that motherfucker would be beyond help. That would be, put them in a straitjacket and just take your losses. Well, I'm calling an ambulance out here because I just laid out three different people. Okay, I'm still trying to get back in the game.